What's going on everybody? Coming up is a install video of our S550 Mustang wing kit. So installing one of our wing kits is really simple. All you need is a 10 millimeter wrench um, 10 millimeter socket, uh, we're going to use a little zippy gun to make it quicker, a 4 millimeter Allen wrench, and a eighth inch um, Allen wrench. You want to start by attaching the uprights to the wing. At this point, it doesn't matter what hole, you just want to make sure they're the same side to side. And there also is a left and a right upright as well, where the back curvature of the upright will meet up. So you want to make sure you're putting the correct one on the correct side. Again, you want to make sure you're in the same holes on each upright so that way they sit level. So at this point, we are ready to take this whole assembly, plop it onto the trunk, get it centered, and mark and drill our holes. So I would like to start by just putting a piece of tape somewhere where you know middle is. This trunk's a little bit easy because there's a few, uh, you know, body lines or marks where you kind of can get a good idea. The fabric tape is nice because it can go over curves and helps you find center a little bit easier. Got to do math. Alright, so now we have our center mark. Now we can take the whole kit and plop it up on. Now we're going to center this. Alright, so now we're centered. One of the nice bits about our kit, as you can see, Let's zoom you in here. Is the mounts are formed off of the trunk. So you can see how you get a nice good fit of the mount to the trunk. One thing you're going to want to double check with our wing kits is we take a lot of time and care on the upright spacing and where these holes are. We tie our uprights into the trunk so we can kind of tie into some of the inner ribs or inner structure of the trunk. So that way you can end up with a trunk mounted wing that is still a very solid mount. Since this is a carbon fiber trunk, I'm going to wear a respirator as well as try and vacuum up the chips as I'm drilling just to prevent them from going airborne. So we took the uprights off of the wing and now we're ready to install them on the trunk. Obviously it's easier to do them individually. Also this step would probably be easier on the car, but just for video and demonstration purposes, we're doing it here on the bench. These top bolts are a little bit tricky to get to on this particular one. You can get your hand up and in there through this access hole. To make it a little bit easier for you, you can drill some small holes that go right up to the bolts as well. You want to keep them as small as possible as to not weaken this inner structure. To get these 
top one's tight, it's probably easier to get an Allen key on um, a drill or something and just hold the nut from the inside. So now that we have the uprights back on the trunk, now it's just as simple as placing the wing on and then once the wing is on, put the end plates on. When you first put a wing on and start running with a wing, it's usually a little bit safer to run the wing at a slightly steeper angle than you think you will need because a car that has more rear grip is a little pushy and a pushy car is a little bit safer than a car that might just snap around on you. There it is, S550 Mustang wing kit installed. Um, obviously this took a little bit longer to do the video, but I would say about 30 to 45 minutes, you should be able to get this wing kit on your trunk ready to go. So here it is, all bolted up, ready to go. You can see how the uprights like mentioned previously tie in very nicely to the trunk this particular one is a non gurney flap option and it also has our smaller standard end plates I'll put a link up here going to a video specifically about all of our wing options to clarify the differences between the end plates the gurney bottom mount top mount all that stuff